Hello aviators and welcome back to another video on Delta Bravo Tango. Today, join me on board something slightly different as we hop on a tour bus and take in the sights and sounds in the largest airport in Canada, Toronto Pearson International Airport. And come along airside as we indulge in the Pearson Airside Tour. Enjoy. Toronto Pearson International Airport is the largest airport in Canada, transferring nearly 50 million passengers in 2018. This 5-runway, 19-square-kilometer facility is the fifth most connected airport on Earth and moves half of all the air cargo transported in Canada. Toronto is also home to the largest and most advanced de-icing facility on Earth and is constantly improving both their operations and their facilities, making it a behemoth of an operation and one place you definitely don't want to miss checking out. So, join me as we take the 2019 Toronto Pearson Airside Tour. Our tour began when I arrived at the official Greater Toronto Airports Authority, or GTAA office building. This complex is where all the airport's management works gets done. After a painless registration process, we were given a quick tour of the office, saw some beautiful models, and we were provided with an information pamphlet and a plane spotting tail identification pamphlet. What a gift! Now, once everyone is on board this bus, we will be on our way to our first attraction, the Fire Brigade Station. Okay, so on your right hand side, that is Terminal 1, the, the big silver building, and we have Terminal 3 behind that. In a little while, we'll talk more about that and how it all works. But the first thing we're going to do is we're stopping at one of the three things that you didn't know that we have here, and that's our three fire stations. So we have 17 firefighters on duty 24 hours a day. They are actually here for a 24 hour shift. Our first attraction point was none other than one of the three fire stations situated inside the grounds at Toronto Pearson. These firemen and women work in 24-hour shifts, so they are always on duty whenever and wherever. There are state-of-the-art fire and service vehicles, and also there are plenty of trained officers who are able to respond to a call and be on site within three minutes of being alerted. Now that's what I call fast. Toronto Pearson is home to the world's most advanced de-icing equipment. There can be up to 500 aircraft which get de-iced in just a single day. And the glycol used in the process can even be recycled. Now that is a handy operation. And it's not really a surprise considering the cold winter months offer the perfect breeding ground for ice. We really do need this world-class tech. Now, my favorite part of this brilliant two-hour tour was this highly anticipated moment where we could exit the bus and get up close and personal with an aircraft. However, what aircraft we would check out is never certain. Yet, on this day, my favorite aircraft, the Boeing 777-300ER Extended Range, was on display at the far end of the airport apron. And this was our moment to exit the bus and check out this gigantic beauty. The fact that it was also operated by my favorite airline, Air Canada, was a huge additional bonus. Now, after getting back on board, we were off to check out the occupied sections of the apron and the gates currently loading and offloading the aircraft parked at that location. Getting up close, 
albeit behind bus windows, to a variety of aircraft ranging from the Embraer 175 to the A319, all the way up to the Airbus A380 was an absolutely wonderful sight. Now, check out this magnificent A380, operated as Emirates Flight 241 from Dubai and soon to be called Flight 242 on its return to Dubai. I actually did some spotting on runway 23 just a few hours before and managed to catch this bird on arrival. Now here is that footage. We continued on checking out different airplanes and listening to our guide inform us about the stunningly expensive prices that airlines have to pay Toronto every time a takeoff, landing, gate use, etc. are conducted. Truly goes to show the true extent of how expensive everything really is. Airlines certainly don't want to delay you, even as much as you don't want to get delayed as well. The airport is a huge maze of intricacy and it really is magnificent to get in on the act and check out how this complex is able to work so efficiently day in and day out. Well, after a sensational two hours of fun-filled sights at the Pearson grounds, it was time to head back to the GTAA building where we will finish the tour. I would like to extend a big thank you to our wonderful guide Ross and our lovely bus driver whose name I have forgot. But if you're watching, thanks man. Also, thank you so much for watching today. Your support on my videos and my Instagram at delta underscore bravo underscore tango has not gone unnoticed. I hope that this video has taught you all something about the largest airport of Canada. And if you are ever in the area, I strongly suggest that you register in spring for this free yet meaningful Toronto Pearson Airside Tour. And remember everyone, until next time, stay flying and have a great day everyone.